tell you. Okay, tell me who you are and why you're at the conference. Uh, I'm James Robitaille. Uh, we're here at the conference presenting the QET, which is an uh, alternative energy device. Uh, it's designed to, uh, well, it's a, it's a resonance machine. Um, it just, uh, basically produces uh, extra output based on mechanical resonance of the steel core. We, we came to the, we were invited to the conference to, to show the machine. Um, we've been developing for about four years, developing the machine for about four years. And we felt that it was to the point where we could uh, bring it and show it. Um, and it's been a bit, in one, in, and you are? I'm Valerie Brokatai. And you're, how are you, how are you two connected? I am James's wife. And support, and actually, we have family support. We call ourselves the QEG family. And that's our website, and that's just kind of how we like to present ourselves because we work together. I know when you guys first started out, you had amazing support worldwide with lots of different resources calling in to help. The community of the world was actually at your beck and call to help support the vision. And what was the vision? Well, the vision is to, uh, we wanted to, well, the original motivation was we wanted to build a device where we could get off the grid ourselves. Um, and we're, we're a Christian organization, the four of us, uh, myself, my wife, my stepdaughter, and her partner. Um, and we, we sat down uh, over a period of about two weeks and we came up with uh, this plan for a new type of business. Uh, we, we wanted to, you know, the original motivation uh, was to get off the grid and, you know, to, uh, to avoid the large electric bills that we were running up at that time. And we sat down and discussed what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, we decided, well, we believe that the most important thing, one of the most important things that you can do while you're on the land is to help others. Um, and eventually we, we developed a plan where we were going to build, build a generator. We were going to get a crowdfunding to build this generator and um, produce it. And we, we wanted to build a prototype. Uh, just to, to be able to help people, this this uh, generator is designed to have the capacity to power like one average American-sized home, um, and that was that was one of the design, one, or one of the goals uh, of the project to, you know, to develop a machine uh, with that capacity um, that would allow you to disconnect from the grid and people that live in areas that, uh, that don't have electric power available could use a machine such as this and have power right you know, in their local area. You did something that was quite extraordinary, if I remember right. What you did, it, you had a campaign that rolled out that was quite profound. And you did something that was extraordinary for the time, and it was with a lady called Hope Girl. So you reached a worldwide audience in a very short time. And so what was the effect of that for you? Well, it was amazing. Uh, I was just astounded at, at the, se the sequence of events. Um, we were very grateful for the support that we received to build a machine, and we, did. we just went at it. You know, we we uh, immediately began building and buying parts and reporting uh, our progress to those who donated to us. Um, and from that point, uh, you know, we, we were trying to develop a strategy to, when we did get it finished, you know, how we wanted to distribute it. Right. Um, and where are you at? This is four years later, and where are you at with the, with the product? Well, 
<laughs> we, when we uh, left to come to this conference, I was tuning the machine. Um, it's, it's really, it's, it's fairly simple to build. It's, it's not mechanically complicated, it's not real precise, it's not high precision. Um, but there is one stage that's tedious and time consuming, mm -hmm. where we have to tune the steel into resonance. Right. Um, so we are just at the end of that process now. It's, it's, it's taken a couple of years to learn how to do it. We, the only instructions we got regarding this machine was the mechanical, how to build it mechanically. Right, but you started it from scratch anyway, didn't you? Yeah, so it wasn't like you were waiting for something. You guys were still building it. Yes. Right. And so part of the last component for you was the resonant aspect of it? Yes. Okay. To finish getting that steel into resonance. And uh, what I was getting to was when we left to come to the conference, I was tuning it, and it's very close. I was hoping that it would finish at right. the time that we could bring it to the conference with the, with the tuning. Right. But it needs a couple of more hours. Okay. So we, we just came. It sounds like I, I, was, I was interviewing um, Paul Babcock. And part of Bedini's stuff was resonance with his amplifiers. So maybe there's some some collaboration in there that would would, would be beneficial. I don't know. Yeah, because that I mean this is the ultimate workshop for interchange. Am I right? So it, yeah, I mean. So I'm going to go back to a question that Aaron's asked me to ask. The reason you're here. I mean, what benefit has this conference been for you? Well, there may be. Uh, that may not be known until a couple of weeks from now. Okay. Until it, it, uh, publish, you know, until it gets published and uh, gets out there. Oh, I'd like to answer that. Yeah. That be okay. For me, um, you know, yes, it was astounding the way we, you know, blew up the world and whatever. But uh, there was some very negative things that happened to us. Very, very negative. And from paid opposition, controlling. Know, cyber attacks and the like. Um, that has been my experience with free energy, with the free energy field, and particularly certain free energy engineers, not these guys. So that's been my experience. In fact, I, I do suffer a little bit from PTSD from it. Right. Every time I open an email or a comment, I start to shake because of what they what they did to us. So coming here, I really didn't want to come here. That's, that's been my experience. Why would I want more of that? Yeah. Completely changed my mind, my heart. I have found nothing but sensitive, nice, caring, warm people here. This is a, a group that is um, extraordinary, and I, I'm, that's what astounds me. Right. And I will be sure to, you know, let them know. I will make sure to let them know that this type of thing exists. It's just been wonderful. And yeah. I think Aaron is the the hub of it because he's so uh, aware of consciousness and what consciousness does for the machines, you know, we go down that road a little bit too, but because he has that awareness, I feel like he, this is just going to keep growing. Right. Yeah, it's just, um, I just really want to thank Aaron, yes. but everybody, of course, but really Aaron is, uh, yeah. Pivotal. Top of my book. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing what he's been able to do to pull this together. So it sounds like you have just a little bit more work to sort of materialize what it is your final dream would be. Yes. And so um, you're, I'm sure people are still collaborating with you, um, assisting you, advising you. So where is it that they can interface with you um, to continue to have help you make your dream come true, especially when it comes to resonance? These are the, yeah. So where, what's your website? Uh, free Energy Academy. QEG Free Energy Academy.com. That's why he loves you and wants you here. <laughs> and is there anything that anything else you need or request or would like to say to a, to a group of people that will help you for further your dream? Um, well, I would I would like to say thank you to all those who have helped us. We uh, we started this with crowdfunding, and that's yeah. I think that kind of figures in with why we got so much opposition and, and trolling is because we put the thing right 
in front of the public first to be able to get funds. Um, and we did we did get the funds. We, we did, you know, just what we said we were going to do and we documented it all. Um, and it's, uh, from this point, um, you know, we just we're very grateful for, for all the help we've gotten. Um, <laughs> I'd like to say something about our distribution plan, okay? Because this is really what, you know, this is the main thing. Um, we have something, we have a plan called CICU, C I C U, which stands for Cottage Industry Community Units. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is of course, we weren't around in these days, but at the end of World War I, I think it was, they had cottage industry where people would make things at home for their community. So our dream is to have people in a community set up a workshop and they make QEGs in that workshop for their community. It seems the simplest way to do it. Is that like an, or an open source or a makerspace or something like that, that that's to, to, to bridge with many of those? Uh, you know, like a hacker space? No, no, no. There's open source spaces that help create. And then there's something called maker spaces. And maker spaces are like places where people around our country, I don't know about the rest of the world, where engineers get together, scientists get together, they, their local communities get together and help communities build things. And they're called maker spaces. And so that would be a, yeah, it would be a really great way to network um, different things and get things out in a much more prolific way um, and, and to share the knowledge in a, in a way that will help change the world. And one other thing, too, is that we have, I, I think the number is 111 QEGs around the world. Okay. Uh, not everybody is, that has them are building right now, but we are in touch with many of them. Mm -hmm. So when this final piece <laughs> comes finally, you know, here with us and we get that resonance, um, we tell them, mm -hmm. builders, and everything comes online at the same time. Okay, and so everything gets synchronized. And how Literally. can you suppress it? You know, it's around the world. Yeah, that's the whole that's idea. The plan. That yeah. was the plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get the hardware in the hands of as many people as we could and have them co-develop with us. Right. So they can do the same experiments we're doing at the same time as, uh, you know, they can do other experiments with the machine. We think there's more than one way that it will you know, make over the unit. Um, and that's yeah, part of the plan. So okay. if you get these machines out there and you get the final piece, and, uh, everybody gets going at the same time. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is there, is, we're good? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.